What's up everyone in the Goon Squad, welcome back to another Forza Horizon 3 video here on the channel. In this one, I thought I would do something kind of interesting, something interesting in in my opinion at least. I wanted to go ahead and do manual versus automatic shifting. Now I personally play on manual and I know a lot of people play on automatic. I find with manual you can actually control your shifts a lot more and with automatic you're stuck just letting the game decide when you want to shift so I thought I would go ahead and put it to the test which one is quicker so in this video guys we're gonna go ahead and test three cars at the drag strip and we'll see which gearing comes out quicker manual or automatic so which ones come out with the quickest times racing down the drag strip so that's what we're doing in today's video let's get right in to the action. All right guys, so like I said, we have three cars we're gonna test out here. We have the 2017 Ford GT. We have the 2016 Lamborghini Aventador LP750. And we of course have the 2013 Audi R8 Coupe Edition. So these cars are super fast. They are super fast cars. And I figured I would go ahead and put them to the test. So if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. Go down in the comments and leave your thoughts down below. Click that subscribe button to become a member of the Goon Squad if you are new around here. And let's get into the video. So to start things off, we're going to bring up the Ford GT times. And the Ford GT times were very interesting. And they started things off kind of the way I expected with manual shifting coming in just a little bit quicker. Actually, let's be honest, these times were really, really similar. So for manual shifting, the first time I went ahead and went down the drag strip, we hit a 21.855, so 21 seconds to make it down the drag strip. And I went ahead and I did two times down the drag strip in manual, and then two times down the drag strip in automatic in each car. So 21.855 for the first time in the Ford GT. For the second time, 21.899. So just a little slower, like a little bit slower. Now, when I went ahead and switched over to automatic, I had some pretty interesting results. Now the times came out, like I said, a little quicker, like a little quicker in manual, but very, very close, very close in automatic. We had 21.855, so actually tying tying the quickest manual time for the first run but then the second automatic time came in just a little slower at a 21.955 so interesting results with the ford gt like the times were very very close now now moving on to the lamborghini aventador lp750 this is where things started to get interesting and started to kind of take a twist the first time we went down the runway, we came across with a 23.09, so 23 seconds. And then the second time was 23.390, so just a little bit slower, about three hundredths of a second. When we went ahead and switched over to automatic, the manual times were pretty quick. But when we switched over to automatic, I noticed a huge difference. This car was a lot slower. The Lamborghini was affected by the automatic shifting. The times came in, you know, like 0.9 slower at a 23.924 for the first run and then 23.957 for the second run. So almost nine hundredths of a second slower when compared to the fastest manual times. So right away I started to wonder, you know, like, is manual better? Is manual better when you have cars like that, like the Lamborghini where it gains that much time? Like that will add up over a lap, over two laps, over three laps, over a full race, like 0.9 of a second, that adds up. So that's why I wanted to add one more car into the mix and this is where things get really interesting guys. Like I have no idea what to think at this point. So when I threw the 2013 Audi R8 Coupe into the mix, this is where, like I said, things got interesting. So for manual, of course, we went ahead and ran two times down the drag strip and our times came in at 22.923 and 22.856. So these times were, you know, pretty good for the car, but when I went ahead and switched over into automatic, guys, you guys don't even want to know what happened. So the automatic shifting actually benefited the Audi R8 Coupe 
and it actually ended up making my times a lot quicker. So for the first automatic run, we came across at a 23.223, and for the second automatic run, we came across at a 23.257. So right away, you can see that the times are quicker for the automatic drags in in this car like it it's weird to think like there's such a big difference so for the ford gt the first test we did it was really really close then we went ahead and we hopped in the lamborghini and manual shifting manual shifting is what you wanted to be in and then we went ahead and we hopped in in the audi and you definitely wanted to be an automatic like automatic pulled through for the Audi. So I think it's interesting to look at and interesting to kind of think about. Honestly, I was expecting manual shifting to pull through just because you can be you can be accurate with your shifts and you can control it and the game isn't deciding when you want to shift. So I think maybe racing might be a different scenario. You know when you want to shift down going into corners, shift up coming out of corners and stuff, you can control that. So I think maybe racing automatic versus manual might have a different outcome. But for drag racing, like just straight line going as fast as you can, it's tough to say. Like we had we had one car where they tied, one where one was better, and one where the other was better. So I thought doing three cars would kind of help out in in any like ties or any tricky situations like this with results, but it didn't. If anything, <laughs> if anything, it made it worse. It made it worse because like I'm at a loss. I don't really know what is better at this point i personally like manual shifting just because like i said i can control it and i can choose when to shift going around tracks and stuff so i know this video was probably a little fast paced but i wanted to get all the times in there and kind of hit everything that i wanted to hit of course i threw up the drag racing in the background for some gameplay and i threw in some filler gameplay with the audi r8 there as well me just kind of cruising but i just wanted to put this out there as well there are kind of some like known errors with this test and these are just errors that i noticed right away uh, different runs down the runway had different traffic so i was kind of swerving in and out of the way now that doesn't really affect the speed too much but it can have an overall impact on the time when we're talking you know hundredths thousandths of a second right so that's one thing that could happen another thing guys i'm not starting and stopping in the exact same place every time it's not like i was doing a race where it timed it for me i had to go ahead and kind of edit it in in sony vegas and figure out the times on my own so that's another thing that kind of brings an error to the scene so the testing may may not have been like the most accurate but i think it was still pretty close and like for the for the audi and for the lamborghini when we're talking like hundredths of a second like nine hundredths when we're talking like nine hundredths of a second like i don't know if i was that far off with my editing here and, and and all that so i think so i think in that sense we can say that it was it was semi-accurate but take it with a grain of salt guys don't be like oh man just because this time beat this time i have to run automatic you know like this was a very inaccurate test and i just wanted to do it for the fun and kind of see how things played out so the results definitely not what i expected but <laughs> it is what it is and it's definitely going to make me kind of rethink the manual versus automatic situation let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see me do this on like an actual track i'll do some races manual versus automatic let me know also if you have any other video ideas that you want to see subscribe if you guys are new subscribe become a member of the goon squad turn on those post notifications and other than that guys thanks a ton for the support guys we're on the road to 2k it's coming in hot i can't thank you guys enough for the support we're trying to bring channel merch and stuff to the channel so that you guys have more ways to support the goon squad don't forget to turn on those post notifications guys smash the thumbs up and i will see you guys all tomorrow for another video peace out